we will take an interesting problem from one of the books dc pande uh, here we are given two sources which are placed in straight line joining the screen perpendicular to the screen and this distance is 0.5 into 10 to power minus 3 meter wavelength is 0.5 into 10 to power minus 6 and this greater distance d is 1 meter this is very small as compared to this only thing is diagram we have shown so that we are able to understand the dimensions but this is exaggeration d is quite small as compared to d now in this case you compare this with this standard case here the origin point if we write this as origin point and here this as the origin point here the path difference at origin point used to be zero but here the path difference at the origin point is d this is important and as you move upwards if you move upwards you will see that the path difference between the rays keep on decreasing so maximum path difference is d maximum is d and then it keeps on falling as you move away but here the part difference was increasing so this is just the reverse of the traditional system how we have been doing it now if you take this angle as theta this angle can also be taken as theta because this is very small and let me write cos theta here will be d upon d square plus y square under root I can write it as cos theta is equal to d I take d common 1 plus y square upon d square raised to power 1 upon 2 or I can write cos theta as in simple terms using the binomial expression I can write cos theta as 1 minus 1 upon 2 y square upon d square is the value of cos theta now the path difference will be d cos theta and you can see as theta is increasing path difference will be decreasing here so delta p is equal to d times 1 minus y square upon twice d square now this path difference has to be some multiple of lambda to get the bright fringe let it be n lambda now here a very important point is to be noted this n is not the normal nth n in case of young's double slit experiment here you can see what is the value of n when y is 0 when y is 0 means at this point you don't have n 0 at this point you have n is equal to d upon lambda this is very important point to be noted so here you have n is equal to d upon lambda now as i move further and this is a in case of in case d upon lambda is an integer here let us see what is d upon lambda d upon lambda comes as 1000 so it will be the bright fringe here but the value of n here is 1000 now this is the value at y is equal to 0 what is the if I move y for first bright fringe when I move away I will have to reduce this n lambda because path difference here is maximum n lambda that was the maximum path difference which is d d is n lambda here n lambda is the maximum path difference I should find the next order and lambda next lower order of n lambda which gives me the bright fringe which will be so this is I can write d 1 minus y 1 it means the first fringe bright fringe so called first bright fringe is equal to n minus 1 into lambda similarly for nth I can write the nth bright fringe I can write d 1 minus y n whole square upon twice d square is equal to n minus n into lambda and what is n lambda here n lambda here is d in this case so you can write it as d minus n lambda and here it is d 
so I can solve it and write as d minus dy n square upon twice d square is equal to d minus n lambda and I get the expression as this gets cancelled so I get y n square is equal to twice d square n lambda upon d twice d square n lambda upon d or y n is equal to d times under root twice n lambda upon d in this question which is there in dc pande it is we have to find the second bright fringe so n is 2 so you place the value of n is 2 d is 1 given so 2 into 2 into d upon lambda is 1000 so it is 1000 you say solve it you get ap approximately 6.38 centimeter in the book for y nth if you see the book the formula given is different because there they have taken the capital n but actually we should write for the small n which gives you the nth bright fringe this is the correct formula to write in the answer which is given is they have straight away taken like this d1 minus y square upon twice d square is equal to n lambda they have taken and this they have solved further it becomes d minus dy square upon twice d square is equal to n lambda or further they have written instead of this formula the formula given in book is based on capital n so it is d minus n lambda is equal to d y square upon twice d square or 1 minus n lambda upon d into twice d square is equal to y square or they have written y is equal to d times under root 2 1 minus n lambda upon d so here you, if you want to find out the second bright fringe you will have to subtract 2 from capital N and capital N was 1000 here for first bright fringe you will have to write n minus 1 for second you will have to write n minus 2 if you use this if you put 1 or 2 here you will get the wrong result so this is not the right formula to use for fringes if you are writing then it is this is the right formula to be used straight away you can get the answer so that care has to be taken because n is maximum here if you use this formula you will have to keep on subtracting if you want to use find the third bright fringe then in, you will have to write n minus 3 you will have to write here n minus 3 and value of capital n is uh, 1000 you will have to use 997 here to get the correct value and you will get that straight result using this formula.